Hey guys, it's Brad with Arborview Properties. Thanks again for checking out our video. So a sight unseen offer over the phone. Um, do we do those at Arborview Properties? Occasionally, uh, we experimented with it. Um, and there's a lot of companies out there on the market that do this, and this is their strategy. And a lot of them are out of state companies that don't even exist here. Um, and I want to tell you the real hard truth about that. Does it work? Yeah, kinda. Um, but from a seller's perspective, from your perspective, very rarely does it work the way you think it's gonna work. So from an investor perspective, from us, it's just a numbers game. Um, the more people we talk to, the more offers we make, the more potential houses we buy. But from you, the one seller that's trying to sell their one house, you wanna have your house sold. And I'm here to tell you that probably 9.5 times out of 10, that offer that that investor makes you over the phone and has you sign a contract over the phone is not going to be the ultimate number that your house sells for. They are going to come back and they're going to renegotiate you on price or they're going to back out of the contract altogether. I literally see it all the time. I've been in this industry for years. I'm I have friends of mine in the industry who this is their strategy. I don't do it because it's not my thing. We experimented with it and I just didn't like the fact that I was burning through, you know, for every 20, 30 people I talk to, I get one good contract. I, I don't like those odds, uh, but a lot of guys, they just do a ton of volume and that's their thing. And they buy a lot of houses that way. But in turn, they also terminate and renegotiate a lot of contracts, a lot. And I try to pride myself on our standpoint that we do the right thing the first time. And I can count, I believe my number, and I've quoted this in other videos, and I'm pretty sure this is my number, is, and I've been doing this uh, now for almost seven years, I have had to terminate six contracts in seven years out of hundreds of deals that we've done in seven years. I've terminated six, that's it. and. Almost every single one of those was because there was some major um, foundation or major issue that we just completely missed. So that was it. And the, that was in due diligence, in the due diligence period. So if you're dealing with an investor and they're making you an offer and they're pressuring you to sign a contract or a, an agreement over the phone, I'm just going to tell you that I want you to be careful a, first of all, understand who you're dealing with. Do some research on that company. Figure out who they are. Are they a legitimate player? What, who, who are they, right? And then B, understand that the chances of that deal going through the way you sign that contract today, when you sign that contract, are very unlikely. They are more than likely going to renegotiate you down on price. They're gonna What they're going to do is they're going to shop it out to other investors, and the other investors are going to tell them, hey, man, your numbers are way off. Um and they're gonna, they're gonna go back and try to renegotiate you down on price because they offered you too much money. They got your hopes up and they told you you're gonna get X and then they come down to Y and they try to re renegotiate you down to Y. So just understand that or, or they're just gonna terminate the contract altogether. They're just gonna completely terminate it and they're gonna back out and say, sorry, it's just not gonna work. Thanks again, have a nice day and then leave you hanging. And sometimes we've, we're actually seeing this a lot right now they're gonna leave you hanging at the closing table. They're going to schedule a closing and they're not gonna show up to the closing table to buy your house. This happened to me just a few weeks ago where we purchased a house, we sold it on the MLS, we had an investor put it under contract and he called us the day before closing and said, I'm not gonna be able to do it, sorry, and just left us hanging. So it happens, it happened to me. So. Anyways, I just wanted to make this video because I'm seeing this a ton right now. Um, it's, it's happening constantly. And over the past couple of years, since the market got crazy hot from COVID, there's been so many people that have come into the Atlanta market that are doing the over the phone game. And it's worked for them for a couple of years because the market's been doing this. So even if they maybe make a mistake on price, they'll still make up for it on the backside when they go to sell it. But now that the market's doing this and going down, they can't do that anymore. So that's happening less and less. Um, 
or I should say those people are getting out of the game, but it's still happening. And I just want you to understand, to educate yourself as a seller, that if you're dealing with a person like this, the chances of that offer and that deal going through the way you sign the contract today is very, very unlikely. It's gonna be different and I guarantee it. So thanks again for checking out this video. If you have a house you need to sell and you wanna deal with an honest company who's gonna make you the right offer the first time, and I'm sorry that offer may seem a little bit lower than the other guys, but remember the other guy's offer is not real. He's just trying to bait you in, it's bait and switch, right? So if you wanna deal with an honest company who truly cares about you and wants to buy your house, that's us at Arborview Properties. Click on the link below or you can call us at 770-810-5715. Um, if you click on the link below, it'll take you to our website. You can fill in the form with your address and your contact information. Uh, a member of our team will reach out to you at generally as soon as we get that lead, just within a few minutes, unless you fill out the lead at two o'clock in the morning, in which case we'll probably call you the next morning. So thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.